All right, what up, Tycoon? Super excited for today's video. Uh, we are going to be looking at CELL, -L, okay, ticker symbol sell. This one was a viewer request. So, you know, if you got any requests for a cryptocurrency or a stock, maybe a strategy or a tutorial you want, make sure to let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to do it for you as soon as I can. I do viewer requests every week. We're going to jump straight into the video now, looking at the daily chart. And I'm going to break down all the patterns for you guys, okay? Um, a lot of people seem to like the videos when I was breaking things down in the past. All right. And we'll break down the patterns that we have here in the present currently. All right. So the first pattern that we see that we looked at, okay, was a descending wedge, a falling wedge, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And it's highlighted right here. Okay. So what happens is the price goes up and down, bounces in between here until we have a breakout to the upside, right? Now we got that move very cleanly. OK, and we came up here to these price levels. All right. Now, look what we do after that. We form a double top. OK, so you see how we have these two arrows right here. OK, this is our double top. OK, um, and this is what you can expect from a technical aspect from a double top. Right. You get the double top up here and then you get a downward motion. Right. A lot of times what this does is it creates something known as an M pattern. OK, we're going to draw a nice M right here. And you can see that that's an M, all right? A lot of people are familiar with the W pattern, right? The W, okay, AKA the double bottom, but you've gotta be prepared for a double top on the upside, the M pattern, okay? So we had a very nice bullish pattern here setting up that gave us a great breakout to the upside, okay? So that's where that move came from. People took profit on that play and that's why we saw it fall, okay? Now it held a nice resistance level there, or I'm sorry, support level, OK, and we consolidated and got another move up higher. OK, and this is where sellers stepped in again. Right. So people came in, took some profits and then it came back down. All right. What did we do? We broke that floor. OK, that that support level that we were holding this whole time and then dropped to complete the overall M pattern. OK, so that was the first pattern there um, that I really saw that I really liked. Uh, we'll zoom in a little bit more. OK, just so we can take a better look at some of the recent price. Well, actually, we need to highlight this. OK, we need to go over divergences. OK, so not only is there patterns on the candlesticks, right, and you can look for chart patterns. But what you need to do is you need to pull up your RSI, OK, which that's what this is over here. That's our relative strength index. And I've highlighted two divergences for you guys. OK, so right here, I want you to see how this thing is basically flat. All right. So we have a, a low here. And then we have the same low there. All right. So we're staying even, staying at the same lows. And then look at our RSI. That's actually in a downtrend, right? We have a, a low here and then we have a lower low, right? So what we got was bearish divergence. Okay. So not only did we get the M pattern, that was a bearish play. Then we went ahead and looked at our RSI and said, oh no, there's a slight bearish divergence right there. Okay. That's not a good sign. That's not what we're looking for. This indicates that there may be more downfall, more to the downside in the future, right? Then what do we get? Okay. So not only that, we have we have that, you know, bearish divergence that we're looking at right there. Okay. Then we get this pattern here that's known as a bear flag. Okay. And the way a bear flag works is you're going to have a sharp move to the downside. Okay. As indicated by this arrow here. All right. And then you have your consolidation period. This is your flag. OK, so this is your flag pole that moved down. And then this sideways chop right here, this this sideways channel. This is your bear. This is the flag. OK, now what you do is you do essentially duplicate this drawing here. OK, and that is going to give you the move for your bear flag. OK, and what are we doing now? Well, we we broke out of that bear flag, came down. And it formed another bear flag, right? Where we came down and we consolidated in this period. So there is a chance, okay, that we could break down below here and head even lower, okay? So that is a possibility. But what happened, all right, was another divergence, except this time it was a bullish divergence. So if we look at this low here and this low here, we're clearly making lower lows, right? Well, if we look at this low here and this low here, we're actually making higher lows, right? So now we have a bullish divergence on the RSI, which is indicating that we might get some bullish activity to the upside, right? And sure enough, look at what we do. We go on an amazing rally all the way up to here after that bullish divergence, after riding that momentum 
from the bullish divergence. Okay. So, you know, those are the main patterns that, um, you know, I've tracked on sell and I've been watching. Okay. Um, and currently right now, what do we have again, guys? We have that descending wedge, that falling wedge. Let's go look in the past. What happened when we got that, right? We got the descending wedge and we got the very nice breakout to the upside. All right. We have the same pattern forming. All right. So there is um, a reason to be bullish in the short term, because if we are able to get, you know, a breakout past this trend line here, that would be a nice move that, in my opinion, most likely would take us up to this trend line. Right. So we're consolidating, bouncing in between here. If we were to get the breakout to the upside, it would make sense because of this pattern. But we have this trend line here. OK forming a symmetrical triangle with these blue trend lines. All right. Now these triangle patterns are not bullish or bearish, right? The wedges, a descending wedge is a bullish pattern. This pattern is just a, you know, it's a neutral pattern. So as a trader, you have to come in. All right. And analyze, okay, well we have, you know, this is the first pattern I'm watching, right? We may get a breakout to the upside, but if we do, I know I have this larger pattern as a possible area, you know, for resistance. Okay. So if we break out past here and get the nice breakout, you got to look out for the trend line. And if we're able to break the trend line, um, then, you know, that's when we have some really juicy opportunity. And, you know, based on the market structure, right, if we look over here, it's kind of weak up until this area here. Right. So, you know, this would be a price target. This would be a price target if we get above these blue lines here. OK, um, but the first move is going to be this descending wedge. Look for the breakout there. If we're bearish, okay, and the market goes down, what we're going to do is we're going to see a rejection around this trend line here, and it's going to head lower, possibly bounce, and then break through, okay? And our support level to the downside is going to be 0.16, all right? Now, where did I get this number from? Why is it 0.16? Well, because, uh, you know, I'm just using the data from the past, okay? We can actually slide it up just a little bit now that we're super, super zoomed in and get it right on the bottom. And that's our bottom on the chart, okay? Um, 0 0.1680. We have not tested that level ever again. So it would make sense for us to come back down and test it, okay? Um, so if you wanted to wait a little bit, right? And maybe you're not as confident that this play could break out to the upside and then potentially break out to the upside past there. Uh, and you think that, you know, we're going to come here and break through this support. Well, you know, we have that level there at 0.6. Uh, 0 0.1680. Okay. Now you could come in and try to get in at the lows. Okay. Of course, this obviously this low right here would be a valid support level. Okay. And, um, you know, I'd say there's a nice support level right around this range as well. All right. So stay tuned to sell. Okay. There's, there's some good things cooking up. All right. We have a nice, uh, you know, smaller bullish pattern here potentially could give us a breakout to the upside. Um, and then we have the larger pattern to see really where we are going to go. OK, you know, we may come up here, bounce, 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 bounce and then break to the downside. OK, or, you know, we may break through here and continue the upwards movement. All right. So hopefully you learned something new in this video, maybe uh, how to draw up some chart patterns or a little bit about divergence, whether it's bearish or bullish. Uh, it's a really great indicator of potential future activity. Uh, once you start to, you know, learn these things, spot these things yourself, then you can use this in your own analysis to help try to predict, right? Let's say you really wanted to buy into something, um, but you weren't sure if you should, and you chart it up and you see that there's some bearish divergence. Well, then that could give you more confidence. All right, well, hey, you know, there is some bearish divergence, which means that we could have some bearish activity. Maybe I won't buy in right now. Um, and I'll try to get in at a lower price. Okay. So appreciate you watching. Stay safe out there. Okay. It's been a brutal crypto winter, but you know, the largest bags are going to be made right now. Okay. So if you're collecting and you are dollar cost averaging or accumulating into your favorite cryptocurrencies, your favorite stocks, um, you know, you got to pick stuff with good fundamentals that can make it through this recession and through this bear market. And the ones that survive, on the next um, bull run, okay, the next bull run, you're going to see some massive, massive gains, okay? So stay patient out there, stay smart, and if you have any requests, let me know in the comments below.